so hello again in our next video for this advanced palmistry course in this video i will explain you about the size of fingers size of fingers should be checked in proportion to your palm you can check again in your hand look at the bracelet line first bracelet line here and from here to the base of the middle finger this is the length of the palm and from the base of middle finger to the top of middle finger this is the length of your fingers when we say size of fingers then you measure only middle finger size middle finger will represent the size of all fingers so normal size is when your fingers are in the proportion of 10 is to 8 with your palm if your palm size from the bracelet to the middle finger base is 10 cm and middle finger is 8 cm then this is normal if this proportion is less than 20 percent means palm is again 10 but finger becomes 9 so finger will look long in your hand but if your finger is 7 and palm is 10 then this proportion will be more than 20 percent in this case fingers will be short in the hand what the size of fingers tell? It tells about depth of thinking. How deeply you can think about one subject. It tells about your concentration. Concentration span. How long you can put your mind on one thing. It tells about planning. How long, how well you plan about something. How much awareness you have about the things, about the job you are doing. So now we'll try to understand it. If somebody has long fingers, long as I told you, 10 is to 9. Finger, uh, finger is 9 centimeter and palm is 10. It's a proportion, it's not actual size. So the fingers will look long in the hand. Then these people will have more concentration. They do one job at a time. These people have very good handwriting. Why? Because they are worried about what I'm doing. They are putting a lot of thinking, planning in their tasks, doing it with more awareness. They have long-term plannings means they have a plan what I'm going to do next year. They can think about it. At the same time, these people are capable of doing one thing at a time. Because they put their full concentration on one job. If they are reading one book, so they will read one, in, one book at a time and they will finish it, then only they start another one. These people are quick in thinking but their thinking stays on one place on the other hand if you have short fingers means 10 is to 7 the ratio is 10 is to 7 from your palm to finger then these people will have low concentration span they cannot put their mind too long on one task they want to do many things at a time. Multitasking they are. Means it's possible they will read one chapter of this book, then they feel bored. Leave it. It's difficult. Let's start another one. And then they will read another one. Means they are doing many things at the same time. And generally, their handwriting is poor as compared to people with long fingers. Because they want to do it quick less thinking, less concentration they are putting into it. 
as compared to short finger people, they don't have too much plans. If you ask them, what are you going to do next year? They will say, I don't know. I'm not sure about next week. I haven't thought about it. They think for a small future. They can learn anything very fast. But they forget it next day. Their mind is quick. Long finger people, they learn it slowly. They take time. They put their concentration into it. But once they learn something, it will be for long term. And short finger people, they generally find it, ah, I understood it. I learned it within five minutes, but I'm not sure what it was. Another thing I've noticed, people with the short fingers, they are a bit careless, at least in their young age. Sometimes they forget their pen, their keys. They are a bit of absent-minded because they are not putting their thinking, full awareness in the jobs they are doing. Their mind is all over. But if you want to learn palmistry, then short finger will be useful. Why? It will give you capacity to think many things at the same time. It will give you capacity to analyze many variables at the same time and make some conclusion. People with the long fingers, they like writing, artistic things, philosophy, where they can put their mind in one thing for a long time. Again, you might have seen some artists, singers, good ones. They have narrow palm and long fingers. So they have the depth of thinking and perfectionist approach both. Many artists are there. They have short fingers, narrow palm. So they become artists, but not so great maybe. They will lack this concentration span to practice to long time. For them, keeping their mind on one thing forever will be difficult. But if you fall in the category of normal, ratio is 10 is to 8, then you have good blend of both qualities. Your concentration span, planning, thinking is appropriate. Last thing, you might listen some people telling fingers longer than palm. You may read this kind of things in the books. To tell you the truth, I have never seen it. Anybody having middle finger longer than the palm. It's something exceptional. We cannot talk about it. So now your job is to see at least five people's hand and apply your learning on them. Find some people who are very fast and careless and find some people who are very good, very planned or good artist with good handwritings. Check their hands and find the differences. Thank you.